Hi everyone, it's Coach Fred here, and I think tonight's homework you were working on finding the X and Y intercepts. And you know, there's a lot of confusion around these two terms, X and Y intercepts, because there's so many things that have X and Y in them. For example, you have the X axis, which is this line that goes right across the coordinate plane, and the Y axis, that's not the X and Y intercepts. Those are called axes. And then you have ordered pairs that have an X and Y in them. But X and Y intercepts are actually really, really special points. They're the points that lay right on top of the X axis, so right here, and the Y axis right here. So the X intercept right here is the ordered pair four comma zero. And the Y intercept right here is zero comma negative one. So you could write the x-intercept if you wanted to as a negative 1. And you could, I'm sorry, as a 4. And you could write the y-intercept if you wanted to as a negative 1. I tend to write them as ordered pairs, but um, you don't have to. But the thing about it, the reason I wrote it as ordered pairs for you is because you have to notice that each of them has a special number in them and they have a zero. So if it is an intercept, you know either the x is zero or the y is zero. So anytime you're trying to find the x-intercept, you wanna set y equal to zero and solve for x. And if you're looking for the y-intercept right here, you're gonna set x equal to zero and solve for y. Now, you could, if you wanted to, put it into a prettier form. Um, and that usually just makes it a little bit easier for you to do the algebra here. But you don't have to. In this equation right here, one way is to find the x-intercept is to just set y equal to 0. So plug in 0 for y. Um, I tend to get it in what's called standard form because I just think it's easier that way. Standard form would be AX plus BY equals C. But I'm just going to do it directly as it's written to find the X and Y intercepts. So if I want to find the X intercept again, I'm going to set Y equal to zero. So that would be zero plus two equals two times X minus one. So I get two equals. I'd have to distribute my two here giving me 2x minus 2, and I would solve for x. So I would add 2 to both sides, giving me 4 equals 2x, and then I would divide by 2. So x equals 2. So I know that my x-intercept equals 2. All right, if I want to find the y-intercept, what do I do? I do the opposite. I set x equal to 0 and solve for y. So I'm going to do y plus 2 equals 2, parentheses, 0 minus 1. Look, I set x equal to 0. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So I have y plus 2 equals 2 times negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So I have y plus 2 equals negative 2. And I'm going to isolate y. I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract 2 to the other side, giving me y equals negative 4. So my y-intercept is negative 4. Now, as you'd write this as 2 comma 0 and 0 comma negative 4. And remember, ordered pairs are written in the form x, y. So it just kind of, I do that because I want you really to get used to setting x equal to 0, setting y equal to 0. All right, hopefully that was a helpful video. Have a great day.